So, how to narrate war? How to narrate war? How to narrate war? Uh, the title of the performance installation is um, Narrating War slash Habitat One. I see so much when I'm dying. Yes. That's right. Um, the project is, well, we like to call it a love affair between our collective practices and our work. And it has developed as a series of ongoing um, working relationship that we hope to continue over a long period of time. Um, in developing this project, it's in its several iterations. Uh, at Artsy, it's uh, essentially a series of performances that will happen uh, during the course of the exhibition. And uh, it is the performance is located inside the universe of the habitat which is what you can see behind us. Uh, we imagine the habitat as a kind of a time machine and a sanctuary, a safe space, uh, in which we invite audiences and our viewers to come and experience the idea of how to narrate war. The the conceptual framework of the project uh, is something that actually began very spontaneously uh, with the idea that uh, it would have been good to have a list of wars accompanying um, an image or a drawing that I was making in 2014, uh, which was supposed to be about war as, a, um, as an abstract concept, not a specific war, but the idea of wars in general. And uh, to realize that a list of wars or a comprehensive list of wars does not exist uh, was, as Lambo says, a scandal in itself, quite a shocking piece of information. And uh, the obsessive compulsive need to actually have something um, <clears throat> as, as, a, as a resource, as a piece of information, uh, something that would be for public access and for people to really understand uh, the, the scale of human history and a history of humanity uh, seen through the lens of conflict. Uh, because now having worked on it for several years, one realizes that it is one of the most continuous histories of human beings. That there are hardly any wars or conflicts that ex that Mm. that there are hardly any years that are free of conflict in the world. And the thing is that we are, when we are taught history uh, in schools, in universities, uh, we, or at least I always learned history from this very specific context or lens of where I was. So for example, in Bombay, we learned history, which was primarily Indian history. And then there was a certain second tier of the major conflicts like the American Revolution, the French Revolution, the Russian Revolution, um, so on and so forth. And one starts imagining that, okay, the history of conflict is not so vast, not so detailed, not so extensive. And this is a kind of um, um, disabusing us of that notion. It uh, changes the perspective. And so really the idea of how to narrate war really begins with uh, trying to update uh, as an artistic response, trying to update or to intervene in the history and the way history is being taught through performance as an alternate pedagogy. Um, but then when we started working together, uh, we decided that it it, it, it's not just important to narrate it. It is also important to perform it in a way that uh, becomes important or becomes relevant for people to understand how history is to be perceived. And that's how we um, started to create a performance where we are still actually on a journey to figuring out how to do it, how to narrate war. Also, Lambo and I, we started um, a while ago to concentrate 
actually more on a futuristic aspect. So we were st starting of dreaming and fantasizing about a world where violence is has gone extinct. And then it was very interesting when we went on this journey, then we met Ali, we met Ali and then uh, uh, he had this amazing work which we completely fell in love with. But it was also in a way for me a little bit different because I thought like, okay, do I want to actually concentrate on wars? Because I actually want to concentrate on other other future aspects. Mm. I actually would wish that we would finally have a time where war doesn't exist. So we went together on this journey and we traveled back in time we, uh, to 3100 BC and, uh, and decided that three of us will become time travelers and maybe lead at some point to a time where we don't have to narrate war, where, we, where this list might end at some point. Right now, I mean, it is always ongoing, but maybe at some point there will be a blank page. <laughs> where we finally can't, uh, can't stop making art. <laughs> yeah. No, but um, basically, and also the other part of the work, uh, the Habitat installation, uh, it started when we were thinking about, is there a possible way to create a space where defragmentation can happen? So um, in a way, uh, this is a first try of yeah. this, uh, space and we'll see how the audience will perceive it mm. yeah one like very important um, background for me is what i learned as well in school is that after war people are able to sit together and talk hey mm. what's happened why did we end up here and killing each other and i was thinking hey why can't why can't we develop a culture where we sit together before this war happens. And sitting together means there are many like different groups, interests, um, of course, but they're together. And I guess this is very important. And in this, in the Habitat for us, this is something which was a theme for us. There's hierarchy, which is maybe for some people very important still to live in a hierarchy world. And But there's also order, and the aspect of order in the habitat is something which is um, for, for us more natural than the idea of hierarchy. And um, in the habitat, uh, for me, this is something which happens in the habitat. Although there are so many different aspects, it's possible to sit together and to talk in the night. I don't know what they're talking, but I guess they're talking here in the night. And um, the whole aspect of, I don't know, like distinction and alienation and um, the production of um, enemy images is quite a huge, I would say, huge aspect in, in the production of war. And I would be very happy if um, maybe this kind of little Island is a place where we don't have to think about these kind of things. <laughs>